Welcome, in front of me is a Redmi Note 14 Pro and today I will show you how you can set up your device. So to get started, you will probably boot it up and be presented with the screen right over here. So I'm going to select arrow and then find that desired language from the list. So I want to select English. We can go to the next page where you get to choose your desired language, uh, not language, but uh, region. Now this is completely optional and as far as I can tell, it has no effect. So I'm just going to keep it at what it is set to, which is actually correct anyway. But moving on, we have terms and conditions. So you can click on the user agreement and the privacy policy to read exactly what you are agreeing to. But at the end of the day, you will probably do what everyone does, which is not bother with it. And just check the box right here that you've read carefully and agreed to it and then move over to the next page. Now this page will allow you to set up this new phone using your old phone. Uh, to basically the Android kind of uh, setup process that allows you to move over things like the uh, applications, uh, your Google account, and so on. So you could utilize that. Now I'm going to be setting this device up as new, so I'm going to skip this. And next page we have insertion of SIM card. This is optional and you don't need to do that. Uh, the reason it shows up here is that it would be one of the ways you can connect to network through SIM card. And if you choose to skip this, the other one would be through Wi-Fi. Now, if you choose to skip this as well, then you won't have the date and time set probably correctly or automatically. Uh, you won't have the Google login page show throughout the setup process and uh, you won't be able to restore apps and the data from a cloud backup. Now, moving on to the next page, we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Even though you're not connected to network, Google will still try to find some kind of way to uh, gather data on you. And even if you check that off, I highly doubt they will stop. So I'm just going to ignore this. Moving on, we have uh, screen lock options. We have three different methods. So we have a screen lock, which contains actually pin pattern or password, which in itself are three methods. And then uh, fingerprint and face recognition. Now the two uh, latter ones are biometrics. And for biometrics, you will always be required to select pin pattern or password. And the reason for that is biometrics isn't 100% reliable. In the times that you can't unlock it using biometrics, neither your face nor your fingerprint, you'd be left with a pen pattern or password, which should not fail. Or alternatively, you don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, though I wouldn't recommend that. Next, we have basic settings. So we have uh, location, sending user and diagnostic data. Now these are for Xiaomi. Uh, because we're already seen that for Google. Automatic system updates, personalized ads, turn that off right away, um, turn off. Uh, it's basically BS that will spy on you, literally, and then try to give you uh, ads based on how much it spied on you and what it heard you like or what you search for, which is, uh, if it sounds intrusive, that's because it absolutely is. Now, moving on, I'm just gonna ignore the rest of this. Uh, this one is the most egregious one, so turn that off without any kind of doubt. Moving on, we have uh, turn on parental control, up to you. If you're going to be using this device, you probably don't want to turn it on. Next, um, you have uh, font settings, so you can choose it from the two fonts right here. This is completely preferential. Then we have uh, set up uh, lock screen. These are basically wallpaper carousels, so it will show you a bunch of random wallpapers on just your lock screen. If you want to utilize that, you can select agree. It needs internet connection for that though. And if you don't like the idea of random wallpapers that will be cycling through every time you press a power button on your home screen, then you can skip this. Next, we have uh, our launcher, aka how the applications are being displayed on our home screen. And we have classic, which is classic, but for Apple users. And then we have drawer mode, which is classic for Android. And that is what I prefer myself. And this fin finishes up the setup. So wait a moment for the arrow to show up and there we go so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching